Can I? Can we finally go freaking catch Pokemon? <clears throat> Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the big champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having a battle Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white... Oh, God. <clears throat> and a great red and white ball mark out on the front. That is the Pokemon Research Lab. Except it's not Pokemon, it's T. Alright, you ready to catch our first Pokemon? Yeah. Okay, so I think what we should do... Um, how do you want to go about this? Walk in the tall grass and throw a ball at it. So, like, we could do an overall encounter, or we could do the grass encounters, you know, I the, think with we the grass, choose. with the exclamation mark. I think we should choose. Yeah. Like, choose a friend every route. Like, choose a Pokemon every route? No, choose the which, like... Oh, which method we use yeah. every route? Okay, if we do do overall encounters, I'd... We should both, like, close our eyes. Yeah. Mm. Um, so what do you want to do like, here? just, like, stand still and wait for a Pokemon to come up to us. Yeah. But I, I'd like to close my eyes, so it's a surprise, you know? Yeah. So, like, do you want to do the overall counts here? We can get, like, Wooloo, Scorvette, um, I don't think Rookie on this route. And then if we do... Oh, and, um... Nicket, I think, is on this route, too. I think. If we do, um... Oh, uh, Wild Encounters, we can get, like, Caterpie... Blipbug... I want to say Lotad. No, Lotad's the next route, I think. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I think I just kind of want to go in and close my eyes, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Hold on, I'm going to line myself up with the grass. Um, okay, I'm going to get past these Wooloos at least, and then close our eyes. All right. And, okay, what did we get? Oh, we can't get Rookie D on this route. Yay. All right, easy enough. I believe this route has a 100% catch rate, so I don't have to worry about that. One... Two and three. All right, your turn to name this workity. Hmm. It is male. James with an R. Where? No, James followed by like this with an R. I don't know without fit. Hold on, I could probably make it fit though. Uh, hold on, hold on. What's Just say face? James with the R, without the N. Nah, no, yeah. James with an R. Yeah. Otherwise known as James Wan R. Got a potion there. Oh, what's this? Hi, Squirvet. Wasn't the Squirvet silver earlier? No. What do you I, mean? I saw it was silver. Are you trying to make me think I missed a shiny or something? No, I saw the Squirvet being silver. Well, it, it wasn't. With my eyes. Squirvet shiny's red anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna train up James with an R real quick. At least kill something with it. I'm 
pick. I hope he doesn't plan on like lowering our defense all the way and then going in for the for a killing blow. Jesus. Yeah, let's let's switch back to Satu Satu Satuiki Satuki Satio. How did I say that earlier? Wait, where did you get Barry, you fool? Squirrels have berries in their cheeks all the time. Oh, it has cheek pouch. What a punk. <laughs> all the work James with an R did is now ruined. That was scary. What a jerk. Pokemon catching is just professional professional animal trapping. Pretty much. Yeah, take that, you stupid punk. Do you think there's Pokemon zoos? Probably. You. I won't be surprised. I'm surprised that we haven't seen one. Uh, we kind of saw one near the Safari Zone in uh, Red and Blue. It's kind of like a little Pokemon zoo. That's, that's more like a, just like a nature preserve or something. Well, yeah, but it's kind of like a zoo. And you get to steal the animals for free. Well, no, no, not the Safari Zone itself. The, there's an area in front of the Safari Zone where you see all kinds of Pokemon, like, um, like behind fences and whatnot. Oh. Oh. Squirrel, stop it. Leave me alone. Have you seen Squirrel's evolution? Uh, is it the big fat one that looks like yeah. the Diggersby? Yeah. He looks cool. His, the name, is, his name is Greedant. Greedant? Greedant, yep. Pronouncing it like Greedant makes it seem like he's an ant. Oh, dude, we could see Sonia. Yes. Love Sonia. Why? Because she's cool. Oh, okay, sure. Do your voice thingy. <clears throat> I gotta think of a good voice. I've run out of ideas. It's Leon. Just use your Leon voice. I'm voicing Sonia. Don't even think well about done. it. done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. Woohoo, I went around the block. Go me. I know, I'm sure glad I got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now, in we go. Cut. New kids on the block had a couple of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. That's an actual song lyric. Wow, Chinese food makes that person sick? I guess so. <clears throat> I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Power! If we can get Yap on the next route. I don't like the look of Yamper's evolution. Yeah, me neither. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Look how cute she is. She's made of polygon seven. Uh, actually pixels, Jack? She's made of polygons. You know what, shut up. She's made of more than in my heart. <clears throat> Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Yes, back in the kitchen where you belong. <laughs> that's a max joke. I apologize. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? No, it's the gym challenge. Gym challenge? Damn it! <clears throat> it wasn't just Diablo helping you out. I did too. What crappy rival? You're supposed to 
Beat him up. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Ah, oh, this is Zook Squarzage. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Wow, what an awful fucking name. Did your parents hate you? <laughs> yeah, please, just... Please, just get on. Get on with it. Stop talking about my name, please. Set him right on... Set him on the right path, would you? The dog is like, Bye, I'm gone. See y'all later, losers. <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Biz Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost. Oh, sorry, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet I do. Not really. Well said. In that case... I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. If you say no, does she just, like, kick you out of her house? <laughs> we don't accept noobs in this, uh, in this, uh, in these perimeters. Establishment. Please leave. Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house along route, too. I guess we could. I hate your Grandma. Uh, mm. Can I do this voice? Yeah, sure. Mm. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving now. Bye. <laughs> so you just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you got a Pokedex, yeah? Have you been stalking me? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Okay, that sounds creepy. It's a potion. You see when your Pokemon's HP, their their hit, their points... Get get low HP is like a Pokemon stam stamina. You can even use it during Pokemon battles. Knowledge is power. It's a good way to talk to lots of different people and read everything. And no one is half the battle. Read everything you you can on your journey. G I creeper. Sorry, I sound like a twelve year old. I am. All right. Post all the business. Heal up at the Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah. He's just going to tell us about the Pokemon Center. I can skip this, right? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I didn't know if you wanted to read it in your hop voice or whatever. My my hop voice changes every, every minute. Well, like, we both know what the Pokemon Center does, right? Yeah, yeah. It heals Pokemon. Oh, damn it! I clicked yes! I need... <laughs> damn it! So he he's like... Do you want me to tell you about the Pokemon? I accidentally clicked less. I pressed the A button too fast. <sighs> Just be like, shut up, I hate you, and then beat him up. Alright. Can I just say this is probably the cutest Nurse Joy we've ever had? What's the cutest Nurse Joy in your opinion, Jack? I'd love to know. I don't know. This, You know, this is second only to Gen 1. <laughs> Those 8-bit graphics. Oh, man. They got me going. And she's also green. <laughs> oh, yes. The light green coloration. <laughs> um, I gotta make our trainer look good. I'm sorry. Oh, dude. I give want him, a dress. like, a ski mask and, like, a machete. I don't think I can. I can give him a cool-looking hoodie, though. Give him a blue one. A blue one? This one? Yeah, it looks good. Alright, and then... I want a top to go with it. Uh, do we have like a striped pink top? Orange, 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 orange looks I, good with can blue. I, can I put pink with it though? It's my favorite color. Orange looks, oh, orange goes well with blue. What is orange? Uh, up. Oh, hold on. That's a $30,000 t-shirt, damn, hold on. Can I take this off? I think it's like an Arcanine shirt. Damn, that's a droopy shirt. Okay, no point in choosing one with an intricate design if it's gonna be covered with a hoodie. I like pink better. Can we just can we go with pink? Fine, I guess. Okay, Han. You know what? We'll go with orange. But I wanna go with pink skinny trousers. <laughs> 
Okay, sure. Them school like bright green shoes. Ah, oh, damn, we don't have any black green shoes. We have sand colored loafers. No, they're not that's not that's not the color, that's a material. Uh and we, we can change our bag too. Aw. Oh, okay, never mind. We can't just change the color. Oh no, our bag changes slightly. You want a different bag? Um, ah, okay, it's not much of an upgrade. We'll we'll go for a different bag later. We want a different cap though. I like that green one. Uh where was it? Down. This one? Yeah. Alright, we can do that. And then you want glasses? Uh, I don't really care. They kind of look weird. I don't think we need gloves. There you go. We're fabulous now. I've never seen a British person wear gloves. Fabulous. That is my simple request. Oh, thanks, fabulous. <clears throat> if you're a Pokemon trainer, you, you must want to try your hand at the, g the gym challenge, right? What's that? Gym challenge, Mike. It's an annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But it's the trick. But the trick is that you gotta be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor to see if she can help. You've got to take part two. A proper light rival is the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger. After all, <clears throat> keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down on the end route too, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Alright. I'm gonna get another encounter there. I'm gonna put a James with an R up front. He needs to level up a bit. Yeah. Before he, you know, dies. Well actually maybe we shouldn't have him up front catching a Pokemon, should we? Yeah, maybe not. Alright. Uh, you want to do the random encounters or the over? Actually, we'll figure that out later. Let's just close our eyes and see what happens. Okay. And just run around a bit and see if yeah. see what comes first. Leon's going to talk about catching Pokemon, though. I'm just going to skip through it. He's going to get us some more Pokeballs. Thank you. Alright. Close your eyes now. No, hold on, not yet, actually. Okay, close your eyes now. Oh, damn, Hop's talking. Shut up, Hop! You know, Hop, shut up. No one okay. likes you. Close your eyes now. Okay, if it's another rookity, it's dupes. Okay, it was another rookity. Okay, I'm closing my eyes, so. Same exact ability, too. No, it's level 5 this time, though. Pun James to all to shame. Alright. Okay, what did I run into? Another f Okay. I'll tell you when we get a new encounter. <laughs> okay. You got your hair covered in your eyes? Yeah. Goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the exclamation mark random encounters. And Blip Bug! Isn't that the UFO ladybug? Uh, yeah, it evolves into all beetle. Mm. That's not bad. Bug Psychic? I've actually been wanting to use one of these, so I'm kind of excited. Oh dear. Ah, oh, that does nothing. We good. We living. Actually, Nick, it would have been really good for the runaway ability. Yeah. Because the wild area is going to be full of high-level Pokemon that we might not be able to run from. Damn. We're going to have to be careful in the uh, wild area when we get there. Oh, James with the Nautilus Power Trip. 
And Blue Bug stays out to the Pokedex. Mm. Alright, my turn didn't give him a nickname. Um. Glopper. A oh, Glopu. Yeah. Your name's Glopu. And you're gonna deal with it. Glopu? Glopu. That is Glopper. Glopu. No, it has a W at the end. Ah, I saw an R. I'm gonna try and skip all these guys. <gasps> a trainer! Just ignore the Pokemon, beat him up. <laughs> High jump kick! Yeah! Hey, you want tussle? <laughs> Youngster Jack? That's his Jake. But I'm pronouncing it as Jack. No one does that. I do. Go Glop you! Oh, you only have Struggle Bug, Louie? Okay, well this might be it. Look at his little arms! They're adorable! Those aren't arms. What are they? Those are his hairs. No, the, the little... Those little yeah. lumps are hairs? Yeah, those are his hairs. He just has really big hairs. Alright. Uh, it just doesn't look like a battle glop you can win by himself, so go! James with an R! Where? Where's what? Where's the R? <laughs> Your team's too nervous to eat berries now. Wait a minute, how did that score video berry last time? I had a nerve. Does one nerve not work if the berry's a held item? I don't know. He's all stupid. Damn. Uh, yeah, James and all is also gonna die. He tail whipped me. We need to get our Pokemon up to snuff, man. We're losing Squirrels. Stop tail whipping me. Why does the light on the TV keep flashing like a strobe light? What do you mean? The light on the TV. It just does that. Like the the light that shows if it's on? Yeah, in the corner. Yeah, it just does that. Right, let's see what's up here. Two potions. Leave me alone. Three Pokeballs. And alas. Get and start together in combination. Do we need to get Dreadnought? Dreadnought would absolutely destroy Leon's Charizard. Uh, Chill's just water type, right? He's so. every type in combination. He's every type. Oh dear. Poor Chool, how does he handle all that power? He just is God. Chool's God? Yeah. There we go, getting some levels in. And we 
made a little girl cry. Heck yeah. Yes. High five. Go team. What's up? Yeah, this camp was going to be shiny. I'm calling it. I'm just joking. It's not. I don't know what a shiny looks like anyway. It barely changes. I I think... think it's by... Turns like a more pinkish color, but... It what still keeps the overall shiny color. Pokemon turned clear? <laughs> like you could see through it? No, like the Pokemon was just invisible. Oh, like you just can't see it? Yeah. Do you still see the sparkles? Yeah. But you just can't see it at all. Oh, dude, Blipbug versus Blipbug. It's like Kakuna versus Kakuna, where they just use Harden. Just perpetually. Except this is just going to be Struggle Bug over and over. Yeah, I can't touch this. Okay, Glop, you go. I'm glad Glop, you's getting a battle and that he can do all by himself. Well, special attack getting loaded. Don't matter none. Isn't this the most engaging battle you ever watch, Jack? Yeah. I agree. And what are our opponent's next un unconceivable moves gonna be? Struggle Dog! How unfathomable! Does this kill? He's dead. James with an R is level 7 now. I mean, the blip bug did all the work. Ooh, he has a nicket. Dude, we're keeping a. Uh, we're keeping. Keeping a. Uh, gloop. Gloop. Clop you out. Oh, we're gonna heal up though. Naked stock type, so. Yeah, but doesn't Dark beat Psychic? Wait, am I Psychic yet? I don't think I'm Psychic until Dollar. Yeah, I'm just Bug. Oh. Oh, damn. I like how Naked's, like, tail is, like, always constantly swiping the floor. Or it's a plant. Why did that? Oh, yeah, I lost like six special attack in that last battle. Whoops! Uh, I may switch out just so this battle goes a little quicker. How about we give James with an all a chance? He hasn't beaten anyone up yet. Not fully, anyway. You may be a little weak defensively right now, but when you become a Covenite, when you hopefully become a Covenite, that's all going to change. Where does the armor come from? Does he just, like, exchange his skin for steel? You know what? That's a good question. I don't know. Oh, hopefully this move kills. There we go. Good job, James, with an R. Just proud. And both of them got to level up. James with an R got home claws. Glop, you get any moves? Nope. Lose to what? Pokemon lose to many trainers. Oh, dude, he has 420. How come we aren't able to turn into a Pokemon trainer until, like, we're 10? But those youngsters are like three. Racism. Dang it. Racism just keeps plaguing our community. Mm hmm. 
So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no! The whole thing is still full of questions! I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... She's a wanker! She's too lazy, just... Actually, Sonia... Sonia actually has a pretty tragic, uh... History with her grandmama. Why is she abusive? No, not really abusive, but like... You you'll see. Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't you even know notice my guest. I'm blind. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Not Professor Magnolia, just Magnolia. Why, hop dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Zux Krujez. Leon told me about your stupid ass name. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. I don't I don't trust someone with a name like that. What Sonia? Or no. Zeus Quizzes. Yeah, Zeus Quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably best you don't trust someone with that kind of name. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Zeus Quizzes? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the in, <clears throat> into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it might take a proper understanding for of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go, Gideon Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things I would know about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are! <clears throat> hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Let us help me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. The gym challenge, sorry. Oh, Leon, why won't you endorse them? They're losers. <laughs> Look at him, his name is Zux Quizzes. You think I can trust him with the gym challenge? Hop and Zook scores. <laughs> <laughs> Hop and Zook scores. They only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, Dear I thought you'd... Oh, sorry. I don't know why two voices start talking at once. Oh, pardon me. It's just, it's just that, uh, that... Uh, that was probably the voice in my head. Oh, uh, what's it called? The thing where you imagine things a lot? I don't know. Uh, uh, all I'm noticing is that, thing uh... thing that starts with an S. Her n thing is going through her finger. Schizophrenia. It, it's just her schizophrenia again. Just acting up. Maybe she's a ghost. Look at that. Or maybe they didn't bother putting collision into that model. I kinda, uh, makes me uncomfortable to look at. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the gallery region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. What's he doing? He's just... Ooga booga, ooga booga. He's <laughs> been <laughs> doing that the whole conversation. <laughs> Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, we'll be waiting outside Zook's courses. Hurry it up, Zooks Quizzes. You gotta battle me so I can get myself with that endorsement. Just leave. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. The gym challenge. Come on, we use everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Sure, why not? I'm ready. As ready as I'll be. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learned from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. To show me something good in this. Show me so so show me. <laughs> Oh, 
I can imagine Hop didn't even say anything before the battle. He just screamed. <laughs> Alright. I think he starts off with his Wulu again. He's got one new team member. I don't remember who that is. Flipbunk's got this. He just, like, makes a deal with God. Just, like, bait him up for me. Please. You got this, Glock, you. Struggle bug. You look at that damage. Ooh. Tackle ain't nothing, man. Why are you laughing? Nothing, nothing. I remember that one time when we were playing Smash Bros. Uh, during that 12 hour stream, I think. And like, mm -hmm. uh, I was Sonic, I think, and you were Simon. And I just started doing a punch. And you were like, what are you gonna do, punch me? And then I punched you off the map and it was pretty funny. <laughs> and I think that's gonna happen here where like, you're like, oh, that's nothing. And then he just crushes you. Yeah, he like crits me or something. I did kind of tempt fate there a little bit. I won't deny that. But look at this. He can't eat berries now. He can't eat berries. Does sheep eat fruit? I don't know, actually. Probably. I know they eat grass. Watch this. I'm going to trip over him. Go. Trip, James. Good job. Oh, we have home claws now, don't we? Home claws or home claws? Home claws. With an N? Mm-hmm. Okay. We can put that in combination with uh, power trip, because power trip grows in power the more my stats are raised. So, Han, we can... I mean, yeah, that's, that's what a normal move does. The more the stat is raised, the powerful it gets. More powerful. Like, the base power grows. The more... Uh, the more my stats are raised, you know? Uh, I get it. I don't get it. Like, it goes from a base 20 to a higher base than 20. So it And I'm raising two stats at once, so... It, it, I don't, it, it's going... Oh, so instead of, like, all, just one, it just does all, and when they raise, the power gets power all. Yeah, all like, order. like obviously, if you raise your attack stat, a physical attack's gonna get, be a little stronger, but the base power of the attack is increased. Mm -hmm. So, on top of the physical, on top of the enhancement that's all I get from me increasing my attack stat, it's gonna become even more powerful, because its base power is high, you know? Yeah. I wonder if this is enough to one-shot. And I can also increase any of my other stats, like accuracy, or... Uh, oh, he blowed my attack. Well, punk. What if the Pokemon just fainted out of fear because of that growl? That'd be the lamest into a Nuzlocke. Well, I still got, I still got the plus two accuracy. I'm a pet would do more, actually, still. Since he's being a little punk about it. Guess he doesn't like my that my Pokemon is ultra powerful and could possibly beat his. Stop it. If we can have a contrary or something, that'd be dope. Ooh, do you think I can live a water gun? No. No, you don't think so? Yeah. Okay, well, probably not a trip water gun. I think it's over at one. Well, he's gonna pound anyway. Didn't even matter. And we still potion. Damn, I think you're right. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have lived a water gun. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, I almost killed James with an R. Yeah. Rookity. Let's go with that. Uh... I know I have the weakness. Don't don't remind me. I 
I'm level 10 though, I mean it's a level 5. I'm good. Watch this. Wah, cha! Look, this is gonna do nothing. Oh damn, I died. <laughs> well, that sucks. This is gonna do nothing but kill me. Oof! Gutted die lost. Oh wait. You got gutted what? You got gutted as a punishment? <laughs> yeah, these Nuzlocke's are brutal, man. Is he moving? It doesn't look like he's moving. No, he's not. He's talking. Oh, no, like... Like, he's not, like... Like, doing this like he, he normally would. He's just like... Yeah, I see. Just, just do the talking. Also, remember, we don't have face cam, Jack. He, he's just boneless. Your visual jokes mean nothing. I was gonna read that up and... Well, too bad you took too long. Okay. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger. You all suck. I'm not endorsing you, losers. Well, there you go. Horsey. That's the end of the huh. Nuzlocke. Well, after seeing a match like that one... Oh, hold on, let me press say. I suppose I have a little choice but to give you both as endorsement of cha an endorsement of champion. Is that a crown or a hat he's wearing? It's a hat. Hmm. Has a crown design on it, though. Because he's number one! Yes, thanks, Liam. I swear I'm going. You. God damn! And then he cuts. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's like at the end of the fucking game. Our, our mom interrupted us. We had to go eat dinner. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, gamers. I got us some talkies. Um, we did all laundry like you want us to. What else was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, I'm 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 hiding these talkies from Max. Cause last time he took the entire freaking bag and put him in his room. Yeah, cause he's fat. The community bag that we were supposed to share. He took as, them to his room and ate them all. A family of six. Mm-hmm. But so, like only three of us like them, so it doesn't matter really. But like, I hid them on the top shelf. But I got a big bowl for me and Jack to share. So sorry if you hear crunching. Are you want to play? Uh, I don't know. The controller is on my desk or chair thing. Oh, you have the chili powder on your fingers. Well, you all too if you eat talkies. Because mm. it doesn't matter. Do you want? I can play. You can play. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. We're all about to end off the episode, so I'll just I'll just play through the rest of it. Okay. We'll put the talkies right there. You may both be young still and plenty rough around <laughs> the edges, but it was a proper battle. George and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our body. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over that nonsense. But it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling battle Pokemon battles out of you, too, Zex. Zooks Quarzage, whatever we named him. Zooks Quarzage. Yeah. Quarzage. All right, Zooks Quarzage. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. No, I'm not really feeling it today. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, maybe some other time. Can we? Can we have a rain check? Yeah. I'll go check. What are you doing? You said we wanted a rain check. That doesn't mean leave the room and check for rain. Well, it doesn't sound like it's raining, so I'm gonna say, uh, rain? No. None. 
Hell, absolutely yes. Yeah. The more we keep... I didn't know you... I'm sorry. Huh? What's that? And then they all died. Zooks for Zage, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. One of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive. Yes. How so convenient continue. that they just stumbled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer of all time. There. I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Actually, doesn't talking about your wish make it less likely to come true? Uh, no, loser. You're, you're, still, you're still the worst at battling Pokemon. Just Don't be silly, Hop! Mm. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gallo region. Why we won't share them with other regions, though? They can go screw themselves. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. So we obtain the wishing stars only to lose them. All right, you've done heaps of research on a Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Zook Scorgies and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we gotta, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering wheel. Now this really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Oh, hi! Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? Isn't that an insult? I've been to- what? Hey, you lot. No, that means- that's just- that's like saying y'all. Y'all. Oh. Because in Sun and Moon, I think it was used as an insult. I don't remember that. Like when that guy at the- the triangle place- the evil place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one guy. Which one guy? There's a, there was a lot of guys in the... The guy with the uh, lima bean-shaped glasses. The li the bean oh, bean I know glasses. who you're talking about. Uh, Fonz or something? Yeah, Alphonse. Uh, no, not Alphonse. Alphonse. It starts with an F. Yeah, and he was like, Oh, you lot... And it sounded like he was using it as an insult. Oh, well, maybe he was angry because us as a group, because it was a group, remember, of you, Hawk, not Hawk, Pow, and um, Gladium. So maybe that's what he meant. Like, you lot! You ruined my day, you know? You. It's morning at last and time for our adventure truly starts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rebecca. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true that you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, it was big. Uh, I think it was blue. It was red. And it was like a dog thing, mouse. What the hell's a dog in a mouse? What? What the hell's a dog in a mouse? Why would they not know what a dog mouse is? They don't exist in Pokemon. They don't? No. I mean, like, 
the Pokedex, like, labels Pokemon as, like, the electric mouse Pokemon. I know, it's weird. Zook Swajik tried to fight it off. I could have helped, but nah. Yeah. I was too busy passing out. <laughs> All right, fount of information you are. Zyukuji, hop! These are for you! Why do they refer to me by full name? Because that's what we typed. I mean, yeah, but it's just, like, weird. Some people go by the full name. I mean, yeah, it's just weird. Like, you wouldn't... You wouldn't call... I I don't refer to you as Evan Kroos or Evan Michael Kroos or whatever. Should we start doing that? Yeah, let's refer to ourselves by our full name, followed by our credit card number, and then our SSN. Oh, jeez. That sounds like a mouthful, though. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fight fitting the wishing stars you found last I night into the, the bands. <laughs> They're like seven bucks, man. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to ever have your double Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic chrome. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. I'll help fill out your Pokedex too. My legend of rain is finally about to begin. Come on, Zooks, I I'll beat you. I'll beat you. I'll beat you to the station. Alright, I think we'll save that next time for Pixel Poppers. So we can finish this bowl of uh, Takis. And next time, our journey will truly begin as we head to the wild area and get even more encounters. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, gamers. Bye.